Xavier, An Angelo Gross has moved to safety a little bit. Uh, what are your thoughts about him and the way he's coming along as a player and playing next to him? I love having Angelo next to me. It's like a security blanket over there because he, he just wants to tackle. Angelo's Gross is a dude that's going to tackle his, his butt off. Really. And um, Angelo's always been um, one of my favorite younger guys. He's just mature. He's mature for his age. He always has been. And um, me and Angelo would go do stuff together a lot. We really go get out some of the heat and we'll go watch film together, you know, trying to build that relationship because we're kind of that security blanket in the back that needs to be, that needs to be strong to prevent in the big plays. What kind of safety do you think he'll be this year? Oh, he'll be really good. Um, he, he's going to tackle, I'm telling you, he's going to tackle. He's going to tackle everything. I'm looking forward to seeing um, how he gets to play the ball in the air. Um, he, he's recovering a lot of ground in the middle of the field with our seven ons. And, um, I think Angelo Gross might be somebody who can go to the league one day. With your system on defense, two linebackers, safeties have to jump in there and play some linebacker type of things against the run game. Do you guys kind of trade that out for the, the so-called box safety? A lot of times it's you, but can you do it every single play, or does it have to switch off and sometimes Angelo does it? You trade it off a little uh, bit? If you don't need, well, Angelo played nickel last year, so he you know, would sometimes be in the box, but it's usually more me. Um, but Angelo's definitely capable of being in the box. He, even though he might not be the tallest dude, he might not be the, he, he's, a, he's a fit dude. You see him out there, he's cut up now, and, and he'll go out there and stick you. He's not, he not afraid of any of his own linemen. Primarily your safety, but you have to come into the box quite often. You're up to 210. Um, you need that that size to, to do that type of thing. Is that the idea? I don't think so. I'll, I'll go from 205 to 210 throughout the week, really. But I don't even think it's about the size. I see dudes um, in the league not much bigger than me playing the box safety. Um, it's about it's about your quickness, your technique, your hands, how well you use your hands. But a little bit of weight doesn't help at all. I mean, it doesn't hurt at all. What about some of those young, or the new corners that, that have transferred in? Have those guys caught your eye? What do you see from those? From we got those some guys. We got some guys. I mean, Ronald looks good. Um, Chaz Chester from Florida. Chester looks good. I really like the way Chuck's been. Chuck Brantley, um, our freshman corner. He only, he only might be 150 soaking wet, but we get some weight on him. Y'all might see him out there. Um, a lot of them look at Marquis Lowry's look good. And actually, KJ Kari Crump from uh, Arizona, he can run like the wind now. So we got some guys, and I'm excited to see what they can do with some pads on our camp. And you mentioned the guy from Alabama, was it Williams? Is that his name, Ronald, Ronald Williams? Williams what, do you, what, what do you think about him? He looks good. He's got a lot of length. He's very patient at the line, and uh, he can run too. Um, so he's just trying to get the defense down. He's getting it down pretty quickly. you got to be smart to play at Alabama. So um, it's easy to see. He, he's a veteran guy. He carries himself as so. Um, and, and I'm excited to watch Ronald. What's it like as a defensive back having to, to depend on some corners that are older guys, veteran guys, some of them, good frames and everything, but they're new to the system. Like, is it offensive back having to, to depend on some corners that are older guys, veteran guys, some of them, good frames and everything, but they're new to the system. It's just trusting the defense, and uh, that's why we work with them so much, and they, they want to work. Um, so we get in there, if, if you don't trust them, then get in the film room with them more, and do something to help them. But um, I trust these guys, and we're still working together. We're gonna keep working, and we'll keep growing as a unit. I guess I remember, it seemed not too long ago, I was watching uh, Joe Bocci and uh, Kenny Willikas and Raekwon Williams later up here. And um, especially being a defensive back, you know, the defensive backs we have in the league and the great ones we've had in the past, um, I'm just trying to follow in their footsteps and represent them well.